Okay, so this is how to set up your domain after you purchased it from GoDaddy. So that's assuming you went here, um, GoDaddy.com, and then you type in whatever you want, uh, search, purchase, and then you'll have an account. Um, once you do, you'll want to click on that account tab right here, and it'll say manage my domains. There will be like a pop-up box here, and so click on manage my domains, and the next screen that you will see is this one. So then what you want to do is click on whichever one you are, okay, so obviously if you just have that one, you're going to want to click on that, and now if you're, when you use Weebly, what you can do, uh, for example, is I'll edit my personal blog. So for instance, oh, let me see. Okay, so you're going to want to click on edit with Weebly and then go to settings. So the settings are at the top of the page. It should look like this. And what you're going to see is the site address. Now mine is already hooked up to GoDaddy and if I want, you see, it, this is what you sh um, should say is like choose your website domain name. Um, right now, it's a subdomain of Weebly, and you don't want to register a new domain because that would be purchasing the domain through Weebly, and you've already done that through GoDaddy. So what you want to do is click on the bottom one, um, connect to a domain you already own, and it says we'll help you connect your domain in the next step. So then you're going to want to click continue. Um, w the next screen that's going to pop up is going to be something that says um, there's going to be some instructions and then it'll say like how to do it through GoDaddy. So I want you to click the drop down menu in order to do that yourself. So you're going to want to have both of the tabs open. You're going to want to have your GoDaddy domain tab and your Weebly tab. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Project Evolve Life, and that's my blog, which is this. This is the Project Evolve Life. That's this one. So when I set it up, this is the screen that's going to come up for you. And what you want to do is you want to click on this, which is the zone file for your domain. And... Um, what you want to do is in the Weebly thing, like in the Weebly instructions, it's going to tell you to point your domain to a number. And it should give you like an option of five different numbers. Um, so what you want to do, and you can use the classic manager too, that's typically the one that's what I usually click on because I don't know all this new stuff. Anyway, so what you want to do is you want to click on this little pencil thing right here, and you're going to want to go and type in this number so it points to your website on Weebly. Okay, so that's the first thing you want to do. And then the second step when you're changing your domain over is to go to the um, bottom here and make sure that the C name, the www, make sure that points to at. So, and then the at goes here. So the www then is going to go here, which this goes here. So then this will point to your website then. So that's how you change it. You're going to want to make sure you click on this gray box in order to save that. And then it can take uh, about up to an hour in order to see the changes. Um, but then when it, when it is ready, you can go to your, you can type the domain in and it'll go straight to your thingy. So, I hope that's kind of helpful. I know I couldn't show you what it says. Let me see if I can, let me see if I can, um, my sites. You know, actually, I have one that's not published yet. Yeah, that's not published yet and I own the domain. I suppose I could do this right now and just kind of walk you through it. Okay. Settings. Click here to set the site address. Uh, domain I already own, so I'm going to go to sarahmichaelsonline.com. You'll want to enter the domain that you just purchased. Click continue. 
Okay, so option A, no, you don't want to do that. You want to make the change yourself. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on the C instructions. C instru okay, there we go. That's even better than it used to be. Ooh, look at that. GoDaddy. Let's see, right click on that one. Oh, here we go. Look at that. Okay. How can I pin this now? I'm going to pin this. <laughs> okay. And I'll put it for my Strictly Business board. Okay. Alrighty. Pin it. Okay, anyhow, so, um, why is this doing that? RAR. <sighs> Edit the zone record. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, enter one of our IP addresses in the provided box. So, let's just see here. If you find this, you just use the... I don't know. Okay, copy. Okay, so then I'm going to go to go to domains and I'm going to go back to my I'm going to go back to my domain manager here and go to Sarah Michaels online. And I'm going to go to the zone file classic DNS manager cuz it's just easier for me. And then Oh, shoot, it won't work. I do have to go back and type it in individually. Okay, let's see here. So. All right, I'm just going to pick one. It doesn't matter what you use. So I'm going to use 199.34.228. 199.00. Oh, come on. Here we go. Okay. Dot five five. Okay, one nine nine dot three four dot two two eight dot five five. Okay, perfect. And then I'm gonna click on save the zone file. Yes, and okay, and here my www points to at. You always want you want to check that. And let's see here. I don't know if it'll have that quick of a turnaround time. No, nope, it doesn't. Okay. Anyways, it'll be it'll be live soon. So then you want to give it up to an hour and just kind of like check back on it. But that's it. That's how you set up your. <laughs> That's how you set up your um, domain to your Weebly.